Hey family, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Happy Sis Mar. Back with more tea. Back with another read. And we're gonna go right in, sage our space, and do a quick prayer and see what's the energy for my earth family. Okay. High power, archangels, ancestors, gods, goddesses of the divine white light. Please protect me and my earth family as we dip into this read. Please protect our energy from any unwanted souls, vibes, or entities. Please give us the clarity and the truth. Please surround us with your love and guide us with your wisdom, all is and forever. High power, archangels, ancestors of the divine white light, showing gratitude and thanks for all the blessings, the lessons, the seasons, and new beginnings. For you delivering us away from evil, guiding us throughout our journey to the motherland of milk and honey. Forever grateful for your divine protection and love. Now with that being said, let's tap in. So let's see what's going on for my earth family. For today, what's today? Wednesday over your Wednesday. You could definitely be dealing with some throat chakra block blockage. Somebody's definitely trying to silence you, Earth family. I'm hearing silencer, silencer, not silence her, but silencer, like um a silencer, like somebody. I'm hearing um uh, warning, warning, detect an enemy. I feel like I don't know. This could be something that's automatic, almost. Somebody could have a a um. Something where they automatically silence you or shut you up or um, something they feel like a shut you up. This could be like some type of tactic of manipulation, but this could also be like something that somebody does so, you know, annually that it's, it's like a routine of some sort. It's like something just happened automatically, but we got creativity. We also got distant horizons. So this could also be something that, that could be dealing with you. If somebody's not doing this to you, then this could be you. Like you could turn yourself off from telling people about your business, our future plans with the distant horizon. Somebody definitely could be moving away. Because creativity, this is giving me like somebody's finding creative, a creative way to pour back into their cup. So it's like having your cake and eating it too. Something that is good for you, something that works for you. But it's like... Having some type of win-win. I'm also hearing win at all costs. So you could be somebody that's very competitive or somebody's very competitive. But I feel like you're doing it in a healthy way. Because we got growth and that's coming right. That's number 39. Well, we got numbers 36, 39, and 38. But with the 38 coming behind the 30, I mean with the 39 coming behind the 38, I'm getting like you grew, like you had some type of realization, right? That sparked something in you. I'm also hearing reunite. Um, but I'm getting like the the Ninja Turtles. Or is that Power Rangers? Like reunite? Um, something like that. This could be <laughs> this could really be all your you could be somebody where you have, I'm gonna say this, you have also egos. You could be having, like, I'm not saying, like, you need medical attention or anything, but you have different personalities. Like, you're somebody, you are good at multitasking. So, like, you can have somebody that, um, like, a, a part of you likes to go out party. A part of you likes to stay at the house humble. A part of you is very nurturing, caring. A part of you, you know, could be a little bit spiteful. A part of you could, or something that's, you know, something you might not, um, you try to, like, hide. If not spiteful, then it could be something like, Something that you, your shadow side, okay? And I don't want nobody to be like, I don't have a shadow side. Well, everybody has to have a shadow side. You can't have the light without the dark. You can't have the moon without the sun. Just period. It's called balance. So I feel like, though, when you come together, it's like all these people, like all these alter egos combine and you just come up with something real big. You come up with you. And I feel like you could definitely be somebody who, you acted a certain way for a long time, not realizing who you really were. So you might have acted like this party, like you might have been partying more and not been balancing in the other other areas, like um, balancing in the love area or balance in the nurturing self-care area or something like that. But I feel like when you come together with all of your, um, your, um, what you want to call it attributes when you when you come together with um all of you you're you're whole you know you make whole but i feel like this is just sparking something in somebody here so somebody's i mean honestly somebody's becoming balancing their energy just period i mean that's really what that is about 
okay? But you're finding a more creative way to do something here, something you're doing, okay? But I feel like this is helping you, just helping you grow or you grew, you know, after you had an awakening or some type of realization. We got death here, so that could definitely be an ending. The number is eight, and then we got 38. Somebody could be 30 years old, okay? So I'm getting, like, toil and labor. There could have definitely been an ending with this toil and labor here. Somebody could have to pay something back. I'm also getting refuge. Somebody could definitely be going to jail or is in jail. They could definitely be paying money back. Um, pay, Maybe some type of sudden wealth here. We got inner... We got inner journey at the bottom of the deck. So somebody's going within. I see a lot of 30s, though, okay? And then number 11, okay? I'm also giving, um, getting 777, great fortune, destiny, okay? Lucky, okay? Lucky. That could definitely be, um, you know, we just entered the 777 portal. So I feel like also I'm getting, like, the chariot. I'm getting cancer energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So y'all definitely want to go check out that water reading. But I'm getting mostly like movement, okay? Something's moving forward. Something's happening. And then with the um, inner journey, this is going within. Yeah. I'm hearing the power within, the power within. Somebody could like SpongeBob. <laughs> Our SpongeBob could, could be significant. But I'm also getting like somebody could be meditating a lot as well. I'm also hearing soul purpose. Somebody's thinking about their soul purpose, their destiny in life, okay? Also, making improvements in um, themselves is also what I'm getting here. I feel like, oh, my nose is going to get the itching. I feel like somebody's trying to rebuild their characteristics, like, re, you know, even make make whatever. Okay, it's like make yourself. I'm hearing make me over, but I feel like not really a makeover. I just get like somebody's getting a, a, a redo, a start over. Because like you still going to be yourself. You just making improvements. Okay. And I feel like that's what somebody's doing here. Somebody's making adjustments and improvements to themselves. For themselves and to themselves. So they ain't doing it for themselves. Like somebody here is not doing it, you know, because, you know, anybody made them. They're doing it because it's something that they want to do because they want to have a better life. They're contributing to their life. I'm also hearing life expansion. So for some of y'all, somebody believes in, you know, I forgot really what that's called, but they believe, like, um, the more good you do, the um, the, light, the longer you'll live, like, the more good deeds you do out here in the world. I mean... Not, not, not saying it like that, like knocking anybody because, hey, you know, it's free vibes over here, but you never know, you know, how high power works out for you, for you helping, you know, doing his work for him out here, helping people in the society and things like that. I'm here a blessing. I'm getting that coming to America where he was like, oh, what a feeling to be loved, to be loved. And then the people out on the street was telling him to shut up, shut up. Okay, somebody can live in like New York or they live in like um, tall buildings or tall apartment building. Okay, but I'm getting like somebody could definitely be feeling like they're in love. Okay. They're 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 coming they're 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 in this good mood a lot. They could have grumpy people around them too, but somebody's in a good mood. Maybe people are noticing it, like, oh yeah, you're in a good mood. This could definitely be you. I'm hearing Leo, Earth family, so you could definitely be dealing with Leo. A Leo highly aspect in your chart, maybe. Okay, so Somebody's trying to revisit something or someone from the past is what this is giving me. Something from the past. Somebody, well, actually not trying. Somebody has made their mind up that they will be with the judgment. That's a major arcana coming out here. So somebody's for sure, like they're 100% certain. They're just trying to find a creative way to bring something about, okay? Bring, how to bring something forth or how to say something, okay? Because we have the Six of Cups coming out in the reverse. So that's basically like a start of a redo. You could definitely be dealing with, um, 
the water um family. You might want to check out that water read. Read whether you have it in your chart or because I was taught it was given a little bit like this, not the travel, but like the whole relationship part of it. So somebody views somebody as this queen of clubs here, very loving, or somebody's viewing you as this queen of clubs, very loving, kind. Okay, definitely could be very intuitive as well. This is an old relationship. Okay, somebody's understanding that this relationship is going to be the end of a cycle for them. Like, it's going to be the brand new start, but the end of a cycle here with the world. This is going to be completion. Okay, somebody feels like somebody is the perfect mother. Okay, somebody is just, like, in love with somebody. Just period. Wow, oh, that's really pretty. And then we got the two of cups. You know, this is an older relationship. Okay. Like somebody, or this was somebody you were, this was an ex here. Oh, no. High power saying this this other relationship is somebody that was a soulmate. Somebody that was a soulmate that won't, that won't be celebrating. Oh, you made up. Oh, so somebody made up their mind that they won't be celebrating with somebody. That's what they made up their mind about. Because we got the six of wands coming out here in the reverse. Right there, right after I was saying something about the two of cups in reverse, coming upside down. So somebody here, they won't be celebrating. Um, a a, a soulmate of yours, like it doesn't even. What high power is saying, like it doesn't even matter if, like if you think this person's not getting any karma for something that they did, they will be. Okay, that's probably why we have this death, toil, and labor, and imprisonment. This could be, um, this could be more than one enemy over here. We are gonna get to that. Her family, but I feel like you had a soulmate, right? Who you could have thought you was gonna be with forever, or you could even still think that things are gonna get better here. But you made your mind up. I don't know if this person don't know, or I don't know who don't know. Somebody don't know. Maybe your person that you're dealing with don't know this, or you um this person that you could have divorced or separated, walked away from. That was um. That was a soulmate of yours, but this was a toxic soulmate here. With the lovers coming out upside down and in the reverse, I feel like this was something that was very toxic for you. Um, they won't be celebrated, okay? They won't be celebrated. You're going to have to walk away from this person. Yep, or you already walked away from this person. But I feel like you've made your mind up about something, though. You made your mind up about a queen of cups. Okay, y'all. This is my dad. Hold on. Okay, y'all. Let's see. I'm going to finish this on out real quick for y'all. So, I feel like that's basically what it is. But something here is growing. Okay? Something here is growing. There, There's a um, there's a rebirth. Somebody's having a rebirth here. Um, Somebody made their mind up to start over. Start some... some a new cycle with somebody here. I feel like somebody's a, a little bit of a um a sweet talker. We got the four of wands in reverse. Yeah. Somebody somebody was in like a divorce or a separation. Yeah. They walked away from that. Or this is what you were in. So both of y'all could have definitely dealt with situations where you were in something well, um, you could have, okay, so you could have dealt with a soulmate, okay, and then your person dealt with somebody that they were in a marriage with, okay, you could have thought you were going to move on with this soulmate, or this person was going to be the one that was going to be, you you were going to be with, and your, your person, I feel like they were in a, um, a whole marriage, shit, this is divorce here, or a long-term union here, we got the queen of pentacles, and, um, Coming in upright but upside down. So this is somebody. And then we also got the Queen of Wands right on the side. So I feel like, you know, somebody could have, um, yeah, somebody walked away from this person. Yeah, because we got the Three of Cups coming. Uh, now, you might not know this with this Three of Cups coming upside down and in reverse. I feel like you don't know this. This person's solo dolo. Somebody definitely walked away from somebody. But they're rebuilding here. With the um, Five of Cups coming out in reverse, this person is no longer in this heartbreak, but they are in the Knight of Wands energy. They're in this Knight of Wands energy. What's this Knight of Wands? 
Queen of Pentacles in a marriage. I think this is you. Let me see. Somebody's unhappy without you, but they want to be with you. Yeah, because somebody walked away from this other Queen of Pentacles. Somebody's celebrating solo dolo, but they also view you as a Queen of Pentacles and they want to be in a marriage with you. And they're unhappy. They're unhappy without you. Yeah, the Queen of Wands, somebody finds you very attractive. Yeah, they were with somebody who had money. They were with somebody who had money. Um, they had like, you know, I'm hearing generational wealth. So they could have had, they could have been in a family that had, they could have, this person that they were with was in a family that had money. This person decided not to co collaborate with this person and walk away. Now for some of y'all, they walked away from you. They could have walked away from you. And ever since they walked away from you, they're not happy. What's this death? So there was an ending because there was a heartbreak. Somebody walked away from something. Somebody decided to let something go. But I feel like they're rebuilding from this, okay? No, now this don't have to be a relationship. There could have actually been a physical death that could have broke somebody's heart. I'm hearing something hit below the belt here. With the Wheel of Fortune, though, somebody, something's turning upwards for this person. Somebody's getting great fortune because of this. That's probably definitely what this sudden wealth here. Is and because of that, somebody will be going to jail as well. There's a whole group that's going to jail. This could even be a family. Yeah, King of Swords. That there, there was a um somebody that was ruthless. Yeah, I'm here ruthless. Somebody was ruthless as fuck with the yes, the white nomen. This person here um or somebody investigated this. Let me see. What is this King of Swords? Let me see. Oh, somebody could have got offered a job by taking down some a uh, group of people. They could have become a detective. Are they like, I'm hearing a junior detective, a rookie detective. <laughs> somebody, because with this ace of coins here, are they got some money? They could have they could have been involved on something here, and they, it got them some money. Whatever they went to court for, whatever these people end up going to jail for, this person... Your person, they had to be the king of swords in this, this situation here. They end up getting some money. But we got toil and labor. This could definitely be the person that's going to pay them back. But this person or something that they were doing at work, somebody was doing something. Or the people that's, it's rather, okay, because we got the knight of swords here. So somebody could definitely be in their head. But, um... Because, oh, they could be in their head about rushing towards you or rushing towards something or starting something. They could know they finna get some money or some money is coming towards them. Maybe there was like a hold up or display um, um, or this delay because somebody here didn't pay somebody. With the labor in reverse, um, labor in reverse. But there we go, labor in reverse. Um, thank you, high power. But I'm getting like somebody here was, um, they, they could toil in labor. They could be having to pay this person back for something that they stole but i don't know with the nine of knights of pentacles coming out in reverse that's giving me like somebody's inconsistent somebody hasn't been keeping up their routine it's rather that or somebody was inconsistently stealing something and now they got to pay all that shit back I don't know why I'm getting like McDonald's or something like that. Like, you know how somebody steal or they, it could have been a big corporation like that. And somebody was just stealing something that they knew somebody or they thought nobody would notice. Like every Friday, they still in $20 or every two weeks, they, they, the, every two weeks, Friday, they spend, they take a hundred dollars and over time that shit add up. So I feel like that's exactly what's going on here. What's this sudden wealth? And we going to close it on now. Oh, I thought I was going to get some snippets for you guys real quick, but I got to go. Lovers in reverse. Oh, yeah, you getting this sudden, you getting this sudden wealth because you had to deal with a um a, um, a lover in reverse, an inconsistent soulmate that could have tried to take some money from you or something here. Somebody was taking some money from somebody. And because of that, they finna get some sudden wealth. The amount that they took might shock the fuck out of you or... The amount that you might receive. 
okay? But it, and you also getting it for a delay here. Whatever this was, this sudden wealth is going to boost you to where you should be in life. Somebody was causing you delay in life on purpose. Yeah, causing your for um causing a delay in your forward movement. We got the star here. Okay, and I'm gonna put some zodiacs real quick. So you are definitely being inspired here to take a leap of faith in a new business adventure, new relationship here. Okay, you're getting a green light. I'm hearing green light. Go, 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 Weezy, go. It could definitely be a Libra in here. Look, I'm here. Hold on, wait. New position. <laughs> we got Virgo coming out in the reverse. So there's a Virgo you might not know about. Or somebody got that heavy aspect in chart. Aquarius in reverse. Another Virgo in reverse. Uh, all those was upside down. <laughs> but we got Cancer in reverse. And we got Sagittarius in the upright. Okay, family. Let me get a couple snippets for you guys. End it on now because I gotta go. I gotta go get this car looked at real quick. We got 2010, could be significant. We got court case. Mm -hmm. We got um, living room floor that definitely came out in that water reading. We got 1999. Okay. We got government assistance. We got mail person. We got Maine, Maine, the um, the state. We got church members. We got the week before, working with the police. Uh huh. We got Libra. Mm hmm. We got roses. We got spray paint, and we got message, like message, like somebody gonna get like a text message or something. But that's all I have for you guys. Thanks for chilling with your girl, High Priestess Amar. I hope the video helped you. If it did, definitely hit that thumbs up. Definitely hit that like button. Um, if you enjoyed it as well, definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And definitely hit that notification bell so that you're updated when there's new videos, family. I love you guys. And I appreciate you steady coming back to the channel and supporting and watching and giving your um, energetic deposits. I love you guys so much. And I will definitely catch you in the next one. Sending love. Until um, next time, peace, love, and prosperity.